Hi! So yes guys, the fish people have returned and they are finally being reviewed in the season they were intended to be reviewed in. <laughs> Welcome back to Dolls Must Guys. But today we're looking at the Mermaids, Mermaids Winter Waves dolls. I got these dolls in September, I believe, from MGA and I've just been waiting to review them for the Christmas season because they're winter themed dolls. So why review them in like fall? You know what I'm saying? I did review Harmonique from this collection though. So if you want to watch that video, I'll link it maybe down below. I don't know. I think I have a Mermaids playlist. I don't remember. But today we're looking at three dolls from the collection, Kashiko, Christabella, and Nora. They were cute in the webisode, and Kashiko got a complete glow up. I love this version of her, so very excited to get her open. But anyways, guys, let me roll my intro real quickly, and we can start looking at these winter fish people. Are you ready to jingle your bells? Hi. Okay guys, these boxes are pretty massive, so I'm gonna have to show you them one by one. So first things first, we have Christabella. She's really, really cute. I really love the white hair. She's kind of reminding me of Roxy Grand from Rainbow High. I did review her a few days ago, so go ahead and check that out too while you're here. The whole premise of this line is they are winter themed mermaid dolls and they have really cool snow globe kind of tails. As you can see, the little glitter in it is kind of moving and they still do have a color change gimmick, which is in their tail fin. Other than that, they are really cool dolls and I am very excited to finally get these open. But anyways, this is Christabella. She's really gorgeous. As you can see, they come with a bunch of little accessories, a little coat, a bag, and everything else that they're wearing. These dolls do retail for $40, but I just got Gwen for $19 at Target, so they are definitely on sale. And I believe I see these as TJ Maxx as well. So if you're wanting to get one of these dolls, I totally recommend getting them on a sale because these ones are actually really nice and they come with doll stands, so that's always a plus. So in the back, you can see it's like glaciers and a very colorful sea, and this is her name behind her ponytail. On this side, it says glitter filled and the color change tail. There is her beautiful stock image where it looks like she's under like a blue light and I think it looks really gorgeous. It says mermaids, mermaids, color change, winter waves and these are for four and up. If we move to the back of the box you can see there are some pictures of Christabella and the rest of the girls and I really like the photo shoot they did for this. I think the lighting they chose was really cool and it kind of gives out that icy vibe and it says winter waves across the shimmering sea where the sand turns to glitter the winter waves crash to reveal new friends with a fabulous sparkle and they did have a little episode so I totally recommend checking out the Mermaid Show. It was actually really good this season. It had a better plot than Rainbow High. And here are all five dolls in this collection. We have already reviewed her. Gwen is going to get her own video with a mermaid's car. But anyways, that is Christabella's box. Let me show you the other girl. So this is Nora. It's kind of more of a edgy kind of, I don't want to say alternative, but not kind of alternative a little bit. Like I really like the jewelry they gave her and she has kind of like a really cool hairstyle. It's kind of giving me Sailor Moon vibes a little bit. She has a really cool split dye coat and even her tail fin seems to color change to split dye. And here's what she looks like in her promo photo. And here is the back of her box with her photography, which is simply gorgeous. And last but not least, I think this is my favorite doll from the collection. It's Kashiko. I think she looks so different from her original doll. There is her gorgeous little promo art on the bottom. And here is her gorgeous art. Like, look at that volume. Like, ah, uh, I love her so much. And look at the glitter shining through. That's so pretty. Like this photo alone, chef's kiss. Here is Kashiko's barcode. Here is Nora's barcode. And here is Christabella's barcode if you are looking for these still. These would be a great Christmas gift because they're winter themed mermaids. It's like, come on. But anyways, guys, now that we looked at all three of their boxes, I am going to now unbox them. And guys, the fish people are out of the box and they're surviving on the land the best they can. But they have a lot of stuff. So um, we're going to start one by one with all the accessories and all that stuff. So first things first, every one of these mermaids dolls comes with one of these humongous stands to keep them up. And the stands have a big M for the mermaids and they're kind of like an interesting shape. They also have two other clips on the bottom just in case the doll's wearing a more bulkier outfit. So starting off with Kashiko's accessories, you can see they all come in this kind of like iceberg of plastic. Inside, you can see there are several little makeup options like a blue polish, a lip gloss, mascara, and a lipstick. And Kashiko also comes with a cute little smartphone that's on social media for mermaids called a bubble. <laughs> she also comes with this really cute unicorn hot cocoa mug. Obviously these are all winter themed accessories and some of the makeup matches what she's actually wearing. Kashiko also came with this boombox purse and it's just a solid piece of silver plastic with a pink plastic chain. Then she came with her, her very own little jacket which is made of this really cool material that kind of feels like a PVC and it has like a shiftiness to it which which is really cool. Well, not PVC, it might be vinyl. I don't know, it's really nice. It has a bunch of fur trim around it on the cuffs and the sleeves. It's just very pink and fluffy and very vinyl-y, so it's a really, really cool. I can't wait to put this on her. As for Christabella, this is her little accessory tray. And here is her little accessories. We have a clear nail polish, a little brush, a mascara, an actual eyeshadow palette, and I think this is... 
Love that. Yeah, this is like some kind of like old school kind of like pager kind of vibe. And she even came with a little black cup. By the way, I got a bandage on my finger now because I was cutting these boxes open and I slid my finger. For Krista Bella's bag, it is this little purple circle bag that has a pearl clasp, a silver fake chain, and there are some pearl details on it as well with a little feather. It does not open, but it looks really, really cute. For her coat, she has this really cool like fabric just like Kashiko's and it also has a little shift to it. She also has little snaps to keep it closed, which is really, really nice. And she has like this very, very faint, like light purple little cuffing and a hood as well, which is pretty big. So this will actually fit over her head, but there is no ponytail slit like most doll hoodies have. So that, I don't know how that'll work. And she also has these cute little pom-poms that have some tinsel on them. That's very, very cute. Definitely like this coat. I think it's really nice. And lastly, we're looking at Nora. So she has a bunch of makeup as well. Now, it looks like she has three nail polishes, yellow, purple, and blue, a mascara, a little white ceramic mug, another bag for her to hold, which looks like a leather jacket, but it's pink. And she also has a really big tablet phone. Her main purse is actually really cute as well. It's this black little purse that has a bunch of silver spikes around it. And the clasp kind of looks like one of those knuckle things that you use to punch people that are illegal to carry around. <laughs> and she also has a silver chain to hold it. Her jacket's actually really nice. It's made completely out of fake fur. It is a darker purple and a hot pink. And it has that same material that Christabella had for her whole jacket as the collar. And this separate belt that is made of actual little beads to look like pearls. That comes apart with a piece of Velcro. Anyways, guys, now that we looked at all the accessories these dolls come with, we're gonna start looking at Christabella and move our way down the line. So Christabella is actually really, really cute. She's really heavy though. Like her tail is like a weapon. <laughs> if you hit someone with this, it would really hurt. Like it's it's really heavy. <laughs> and it's mainly this because it's like a really hard piece of plastic and then the tail is already like filled with the liquid. So yeah, definitely consider that. <laughs> She's actually really, really pretty in person. I think she looks amazing. I can't wait to get this tinsel out of her hair because Lord knows she does not need it. But anyways, let's start looking at her. Speaking of her hair, she has white nylon hair, just like Rainbow High and OMG dolls. But it has some iridescent tinsel in it, which I, again, I'm taking it out. We're not even going to have that argument. She also has two cool little braids in the front and they have woven in some really cute silver rings. And she also has this cute pair of sunglasses that are silver with pink lenses. Not a fan of the sunglasses, but I might put them on. If we move on to the physical doll, she has a deep brown skin complexion with some black eyebrows and a really pretty makeup look. So it seems like it's pink and silver and then there's some extra purple on the top. It's really, really pretty. She also has purple eyes and white baby hairs. Now I'm not the biggest fan of her lips, but they are quite different and unique. So I'll give her that. But the bottom is just like the really deep purple and the top is a light blue and they kind of are almost faded in a way. She has these really huge hoop earrings in that are a metallic silver color and they have little purple dots going all the way around them. And if we look at her outfit, she's wearing like a shirt vest. It does look like the sleeve are detachable but they're not they're actually sewn with a little thread there but if you cut them off you definitely could have them detachable but she's wearing a vest that is made of like a dark purple tinsel it almost kind of reminds me of a sea urchin and then underneath if it was a separate piece she'd be wearing a collared shirt which is made of a really thick white material and it has this little white ribbon going down as for the sleeves it's made of that same material as the collar but it has a really nice detail to it she's also wearing a silver necklace that has a little snowflake in the middle now if you look at her tail it is a really cool snow globe. I really like the snow globe tails and I'm hoping that with future mermaids lines if they continue just doing tails like this that they just do different things all the time and it's not just color change. Like I can see a lava lamp line, a soft line, you know, etc, etc. But her tail is mainly transparent. The top is slightly airbrushed with a silver paint. It has some snowflake details on it as well. And if we go into the middle of her tail, you can see it is purple little snowflake glitters and it's really pretty. And then her main tail looks like a really huge iceberg. Almost like the container all the accessories came in. It's white and purple. And as I said, it's really heavy. It's like, it can't even stay up if you wanted it to. Probably be a good stand though. And the base has some light coloring to it as well. And this is what it looks like when you flip it upside down. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much Christabella. Now let's look at Nora. Okay, guys, so this is Nora. She actually looks a lot better than the one I got originally. So I'm very happy about that. So Nora has her hair into two big ponytails and they're very, very long. And her hair is like, this, it's almost like a dark purple color with some pink streak. Ponytails are wrapped of hair and it also has like this kind of crescent moon like kind of hairstyle going up on the top it's actually really cool she also has a little braid that's very very long her hair also has some tinsel in it but it's not too bad and the main ponytail is just twist braided and it looks really pretty now one thing i forgot to say about christabella is these dolls have highlighter like on their entire bodies so as you can see she looks very sweaty or just very plasticky but she has gradient brows that are a dark brown there's also glitter underneath the brow bone it seems like she has a cut crease so it's mainly like this really cool glitter blue color and then it deepens with some black and brown. Her eyes are kind of a purple too but not too drastic. She has a pink lipstick on 
And as for her earrings, they're these like really spiky silver metallic earrings that actually look really, really cool. Then if we move on to her outfit, she's wearing a black choker that has pink studs all the way around it and two silver fake chain necklaces. And she's just wearing a mesh shirt. You can kind of see her painted on broth through it, but again, she's going to have a coat on, so it doesn't matter. But it's this really cool kind of like halter top that has the sleeves just like Christabella's. And even there is some distress in the hemming, which looks pretty cool. And she has a black nail polish. Christabella, by the way, has silver. As for her tail, it's very similar to Christabella's in color. So it's like a light white or silver that's been airbrushed on. And there is some glitter to it as well. And it looks like she's wearing a studded belt that is a metallic silver and has some very light purple bits to it as well with a heart buckle. And her glitter inside is black, silver, and a champagne color. And her tail looks just like a normal mermaid tail, but it's very rock-like and very crystally. It's really cool. It is white and blue. And this is what her glitter looks like. Definitely very, very pretty. But yeah, now let's look at Kashiko. Here is Kashiko. She is definitely my favorite from this collection. I think they did a really good job on her and she looks so different from her main doll. This time around, she has platinum blonde hair with a bunch of rainbow streaks in it. So we have some blue, yellow, and pink strands. In the front, there is three braids and it's in a half up, half down style. On the top, she has two big bubble braids and then the rest of the hair is just wavy and there's a lot of tinsel on the bottom. I don't know if I'm gonna rip that out or even try washing her hair, but yeah. She also has some metallic nylon, by the way. You could kind of tell, but I've heard it's good metallic nylon, so I'm not gonna be too worried. So for Kashika, she has these light brown eyebrows and she has a really pretty makeup look. It's like pink all the way around with some glitter and then it's outlined with a darker pink. And then she has her normal blue eyes and a hot pink lipstick. And as for her earrings, they're a metallic silver as well. And there are little bows with drop down stars. Now if we move down for her outfit. She's wearing this two piece little set right here. But first we gotta look at her necklace. So she's wearing this really chunky pink plastic necklace that has a star charm that's silver and this flocked purple charm right here. Then she is wearing this interesting material that I could not pinpoint on Harmonique and I still can't, but it's super soft and it looks really pretty. It's like a light blue color and has some silver embedded into the fabric and it looks really shiny. And this portion is basically like not even a shirt, it's like cropped as hell. <laughs> and there is a hood in the back, as you can see, and a Velcro in the back too. Then underneath that, she's wearing this silver crop top that is really cute. And I could see some people using this for doll restyles. And that also Velcro's in the back. Pico has a blue nail polish. Oh yeah, and there's also these little pink drawstrings that actually will tighten the hoodie and they actually feel like embroidery cord. For her tail, it is clear mainly just like the rest of them, but it has a lighter pink base and it kind of just airs out. And then she has a white belt on that has some silver detailing and some fake pearls. Her glitter inside is a bunch of colors and hearts. It's really cute. It's very Kashiko. And then her tail kind of looks like a clamshell, which is really pretty. I think it looks like fabric and I just think it looks really good. Pearlescent pink color and it, looks it isn't as heavy as Christabella's because it is a little more hollow in the back. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much all three of the mermaids. I'm going to go put them in my freezer. Yes, I'm going to put them in my freezer just to show you their color change. And after like an hour in the freezer, because because I did forgive them, they became fish sticks. <laughs> but here are their color changes. As you can see, Christabella's is really dark. I think she had the best one out of the bunch. Hers is more blue now, and she has a split tone tail, which is really cute. But anyways, guys, that pretty much ends up our review for the Mermaids, Mermaids, Winter Waves dolls. We have Christabella, Kashiko, and Nora. I honestly think these are really cool. And just like a Cinema Harmonique review, they were a little overpriced when they came out, especially considering Mermaids is always kind of overpriced. But right now, I totally recommend getting them because they are on sale. They're really gorgeous. As you can see they came with a lot of stuff their gimmick is really cool this time around because it actually like works <laughs> and i think that they're actually really pretty they're really like different from all each other and i really think that this is a really good mermaids line and i'm really hopeful the mermaids is not canceled next year and they continue making more dolls <laughs> i'm like a really big fan of them i don't know i have a lot of criticism for them but it's out of love and i've always said that in my videos about mermaids but anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new to the channel hi my name is jay and i do doll stuff duh and i'd love you to join the channel and if you aren't following me on instagram or on tiktok it's at zombie corn and thank you once again mj for sending me these in september i know i'm a little late to reviewing them as well but i wanted to do it in winter because they're winter dolls <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow but till then bye